Uh, g'day playmates so welcome to another harm of it and this is a is a dcs uh, video uh, however uh, i'm going through my um quest to setup uh, and recording setup as well i'm doing this uh hopefully to help a few people out because believe you me it's taken me quite a while uh to get uh, set up for um recording a decent uh, video in DCS. So um, I'm just going to go through uh, all the steps uh, that I use to uh, try and do this. Um, if you know of a better way or uh, another way, uh, anything that's uh, helpful, uh, by all means, uh, put it in the comments because this is certainly not an exact science anyway first thing is uh looking at uh, the pc sound settings uh, my output device is my quest 2 and uh, i'm just using the uh, built-in speakers but i am uh, using on top of that i've actually uh, plugged into the side of the quest 2 uh, some um, small uh, hearing earbuds um, so that they fit neatly into my ear. Um, the input I'm using uh, the Quest 2 um, uh, internal mic. Uh, so that's those settings. Okay, I'm running three uh, ancillary programs. The first one down here is Uh, Oculus Tray Tool. Now, look, I'm not going to go through how um, how these uh, are installed. Whatever. I'll look. I'll leave some links. Uh, there are lots and lots of videos out there on you know basically how to set uh, these sort of things up. Uh, I'm just basically just going to show uh, the game settings um, that I am using. Um, and also uh, with the Quest Link as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically Oculus Tray 2. That's the first thing that I start up uh, when I'm uh, gonna use uh, VR and VR recording uh, for DCS. Okay, uh, the next one then is um, uh, Oculus Mirror. Uh, again, uh, that actually comes installed uh, with the uh, uh, Oculus app. Uh, you've just got to find it. Uh, and again, look, I'm not going to go through uh, a heap of stuff with this. Um, let me... So when you actually start this up... Let me just bring that, this down. Uh, this is... Um, I use this basically for video stabilization. Um, the idea being that uh, it smooths out uh, head, head movements and, and head tracking uh, that makes it more palatable for viewers in uh, watching uh, uh, VR. Uh, now, when you actually click on the top bar, uh, you get a very, very limited um, menu. Uh, and for some stupid reason, uh, you actually have to click on the screen area itself. If you look in the, the top left hand, you'll now see settings have now popped up. Oh, God. All right. So uh, these are the settings that I use. Uh, field of view scale. Uh, I generally set that to 120%, uh, both in the X and the Y axes. And you can see that altering uh, what's happening here in o Oculus Mirror. Um, and image stabilization, this is the most important one. I'm going to enable that. Um, and as you can see, already it's sort of having uh, quite a decent effect. Uh, I'm not going to use Keep Upright because uh, when I turn my head, especially in DCS, uh, I prefer, you know, to actually see what where my you know where my head is actually turning from side to side so uh, keep upright I'm switching off and then the other parameters uh, are uh, 
uh, profiles. Um, I'm going to use uh, wide um, and that's basically uh, Oculus Mirror done with. Uh, the most important one then next is SiteQuest. Okay, SiteQuest is a pain in the ass. Uh, you've got to go through a lot of hoops to actually uh, get hold of a copy of SiteQuest, which is totally free, doesn't cost anything at all. Uh, there are plenty of videos out on how to download and get SiteQuest as a developer, and I'm not a developer, but uh, yeah. So let me just, um, uh, obviously SiteQuest has de detected my Oculus Quest 2. Actually, when you actually go, uh, when you actually go home, uh, it is, it's a little bit like Steam, uh, but um, yeah, I, I don't use it like that. Uh, I use uh, the device sending and tools, which is the spanner here. All right, so um, these are basically uh, the settings that I use. Uh, let me just move this over here a little bit, and let me just move this over here a little bit. Uh, so the first thing I do is... I've, al I've already done these settings, so I'm not going to do them again. First one is, uh, if you want Guardian off, then you hit off, uh, and a blue text, uh, a green text will come up at the bottom here to show that that's in fact what's happening. Uh, the next is full rate capture on there. Uh, the next is video capture size. 1080 which gives you uh white screen so you don't see the uh the uh, square screen that oculus naturally uh reverts to and then the most important is the default default texture size uh for quest 2 3072 the maximum is looks really smart very good uh, the only thing is with DCS, it tends to kill the, your rates a bit. So I use 2048, all right? So that's SiteQuest. Um, let me just bring that out here and put that away. Uh, the only other thing then that I'm uh, running apart from that is some other programs which uh, uh, are just personal preferences. Of course, one of them is uh, Voice Attack. Uh, which um, allows you uh, to convert uh, your voice into keyboard commands, uh, which is pretty invaluable in DCS. So I can do things like eject. There we go. <laughs> Pad. Pad. Two. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay, let's crack on. Let's get into uh, DCS. Okay, so just to, again, surmise the three hidden programs. Uh, Oculus Tray 2. Oculus Mirror. And SiteQuest. Okay. Okay, uh, here we are in DCS. I'm just going to bring a quick mission up. Uh, Super Carrier Cold Start in the Persian Gulf. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, cold uh, Cold Start on the on the deck. Uh, when I uh, hit fly, uh, it is going to be quite noisy. Uh, you could um, obviously uh, alter the, uh, or rather, I could alter the volumes uh, in audio settings in DCS, but. Um, even though it does sound quite noisy, uh, I would expect that that'd be pretty much uh, what would be happening uh, on a busier on a busy uh, carrier flight deck. Uh, so here we go. Uh, okay, I'm just going to do a brief startup uh, just to uh, in order to close the um, canopy. Uh, and just to give you an idea of the difference uh, between the two, open and closed.
Let's put this stick in. Okay, that's a lot better. Um, I'm just going to get some volumes up here. I'm just going to get the DDIs up and running. And then I'll quit out. Because as I say... Uh, I'm not interested in doing a full DCS thing here. I'm just going through my uh, recording things. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to quit out now. Uh, quit to desktop. Yes. Okay, now, uh, I'm still recording at the moment. So, um, basically, if I want to, uh, if I, if I want to copy uh, my recording onto my uh, PC, then basically I go here, manage files uh, on the headset and scroll down to Oculus and go to video shots. And there we've, uh, that's our, uh, and that's, and that's our video. Basically we just, uh, yep, yeah, we just save that, um, onto uh, onto a location uh, also uh, you can delete files from here as well uh, do you want to delete the files this cannot be un undone no I won't bother with that uh, and there we go okay uh, so uh, there you have it uh, hopefully that's been helpful I'll leave links uh, in the bottom and hope that uh, I get some comments uh, regarding this, uh, whether it's good, bad, indifferent, whether there's something better uh, or whatever. Um, okay, all right, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, and I will see you soon.